Hi Virgos! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekday reading, September 11 to the 14, Monday to Thursday. This is you and the other person. Um, we're going to have a central issue and more of their blockages on our extended reading. Alright, so here we go. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising. You could be connecting with an Aquarian. Someone is just telling me that right away. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Virgo. Happy birthday, by the way, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful um, start of your um, you know, solar return. Okay. Ooh, guys, I just want to share with you energy that you guys have because I have. To, if I see it, I have to say it. The Sun card with the Four of Wands. So you probably are connecting with a Leo, or you could probably getting that relationship that you always have wanted, or something that makes you happy. Okay, can be just even stability if you want. Okay, that's uh, this is a love reading, so I'm seeing relationship is manifesting. All right, and it's, it's like going forward. The baby and the horse is going forward. All right, that's the energy of that. So you could probably be going forward with someone already. That's good energy, guys. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on for the Virgos. Here we go. This is you. Ma, what happened? Five of Cups, either are you upset with someone? Are you not seeing what you have right now, Virgo? Because the Five of Cups is like, you know, you're disappointed about a past energy. Two of Pentacles. You're trying to you're trying to manage stuff. Um, well, one, whatever was was, you're trying to manage over it. So there's a level of disappointment. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You're probably disappointed with about the past. But for you, it's like, well, I don't care about it now anymore. It's behind me. You're just allowing time, which is, a, you know, like the Two of Pentacles with the Infinity sign over there. Let me see. And then you have here, oh, Queen of Swords. So you're talking with an air sign. That's with the Aquarian earlier, right? And then from what I'm seeing here, you're entertaining someone. You're allowing them. Okay, you can tell me. You can talk to me. Yes. But let me see. What's this about? Because you're very guarded. Yep, I just said very guarded. Eight of Swords. Virgos. This uh, whole being guarded over here because of past energy or whoever has hurt you, I'm not sure if that's going to be a welcoming energy for, you know, but this can be the other person, I'm just letting you know. The other person can be the one who is not opening up, who's very well guarded, and who's very straight with their communication. If this is not you, it can be the other person, guys. And then the other person have your Nine of Pentacles. This can be you, Earth sign also. Yeah, this can be you, and this is our air sign. Because the Nine of Pentacles here is being secure, confident, right? And just feeling they know themselves. The Nine of Pentacles, they're secure. They know themselves. Let me see here. And then you have Knight of Swords. Hmm. Someone here who's overconfident, who talks really straightforward, they feel like, you know, I'm the thing. I'm the thing over here. It's gonna be the person that you're connecting with. They're very, very confident. And for you, it's like, yeah, bring it to me. Like, you're just allowing it. Like, show me your game. That's what I'm seeing here. Show me what you're all about. Because that's the two of pentacles. You're just gonna be like, hmm, okay. You wanna be hot stuff over here. And then seven of pentacles. They wanna put some effort in here. Because they can. Nine of pentacles, like, I have, I have, I can show you how, who I am. Seven of pentacles is like, they already have, you guys are already like talking to each other. Because they're waiting for you to open up. They're waiting for you to let your guard down. Not sure why. Or the either or. Underneath the Seven of Pentacles can be with the Libra Justice card. Either someone is having legal issues, yes, right? Um, but someone is also trying to weigh an option. It's like, for this person, if, if this thing goes on, are you... Nobody opens up. It's like they're waiting. They're waiting now. I want to make a decision. That's what I'm seeing here. They want to make a decision about, you know, like because whoever is guarded over here, who doesn't want to realize the situation that they're at, like you know that there's no nothing anymore. The five of cups is gone. The eight of swords is the one thinking of it still. They're gonna start to weigh an option. Let me see. In central issue. Wow. Lee of Virgos, you have your two of cups. None of any of my read right now has gotten this. This, and this is a central issue. Someone has to see this connection. Two of cups is, you know, like, it's an energy where reciprocity is. But someone is so guarded about the connection, then how does it manifest when you, in the central issue, see I'm scratching my head, when the central issue is like, you guys know that you have felt each other. You guys have something good in the, in the middle. But they're weighing now. 
it's like, or you're weighing, because it's like, well, if you're not going to open up, then what am I going to do over here? I already have managed to remove myself from the past, but however, I'm still not open to something serious. That's the other thing also. Because they, they're serious, because they're confident. Someone here has a little bit, um, you know, disappointment with their past. Well, it's not a little bit, it's a five of cups. But someone has to realize that what's done is done, and it's time now for this thing to come. This is good connection, Virgos, especially on your birthday. Relationship. That's a relationship right there. All right? So, Virgos, I'm going to continue this reading with more of the central issue. You can be dealing with a water sign, earth sign, air sign. Okay? Fire sign, I don't see. All right? So, thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful weekday. I'll see you guys again. Bye.